One of the unwritten rules in video editing is to make sure that no edit goes for longer than around about seven seconds. We call it the seven second rule. Now at the moment I've got uh, um, sort of pretty much following that rule. So I'm Georgia, and this is Jen. We're at Jazz on the Green right now. However, due to the current weather conditions, it's more like Jazz in the Hall. I'm starting to break. Um, the so she's mentioning the band. So I might just go to a clip of the band at this point. Now you'll notice that I still have the band playing in layer two. So I'm going to go over here to my cutting tool and make an incision in video track two but I don't want to cut the audio, I want the audio to, to remain consistent. So I'm going to go over here to my locking tools and I'm going to lock the audio of the two girls and come up here and just make a bit of a slide through and just extend the band a little bit so we'll get the illusion of cutting to the band that we can still hear a little bit as you can see in track one and two and the girls are still talking, let's see how this looks. At the moment, we're just listening to the Jonathan Gigi Trio. They're playing some amazing jazz songs for the... All right, the band sort of ran out there, so I'll keep the band going for as long as that goes. And we'll just make that clip go a little bit longer and see how it goes. We're just listening to the Jonathan Gigi Trio. They're playing some amazing jazz songs for the, the audience at the moment. Now, she does mention the name of one of the members, Jonathan, and that's not Jonathan there. So I'm going to go looking for an image of Jonathan. Uh, to insert, because I think that would be more appropriate to what she's actually saying. So I'll go to my untitled footage and scroll through until I find a nice close-up of Jonathan, who's the bass player. There he is. So we'll just put an in point there. Remember, the in point is the I button. Let that play for a minute and put an out point. It's just a couple of seconds will do the job. Now I'm going to drag that in to into track three, which doesn't exist at the moment. We've got track one, track two, and video track three is not there. It will appear as I put it in, but I don't want the audio of that because it'll get too confusing having the audio of that little clip to go and coincide with the audio of the band that's already existing. So I'm going to put it in first. As you can see, as I drag it down, track three automatically appears, but so does the audio. So there's a few things I could do. I could just drop the volume or I could lock the video track, highlight it, and then when I hit the delete button, the audio just disappears. So there's a few different ways of doing it. Let's have a look at our edit now. Um, at the moment, we're just listening to the Jonathan Gigi trio. There They're is. playing some amazing jazz songs for the... And I might just keep uh, the singer there for a little bit longer as well. Let's have another look. Listening to the Jonathan Gigi trio. They're playing some amazing jazz songs for the... The audience at the moment and Georgia and I are gonna sing. So she's mentioning Georgia and I are gonna sing. So let's let's find where Georgia sings. We've got any of that footage here? No, it doesn't look like we have. So that's okay, I haven't got that so I can't use it. At the moment and Georgia and I are gonna sing as well as Mads and Annabelle Clough, as well as Stage Band and Planet Groups and a great afternoon. Alright, we might just finish that off there and We'll have a bit more of the band and then we'll just fade it out. So I'll stretch out the band track. Yeah. Now we can see the audio level of the band is still quite low. So we'll get our pen tool and go and just increase the volume of the band as the girls stop talking. That's audio track one and two is going up. Let's see what that sounds like. Groups me great afternoon. So the band's now hovering at negative 12. And we need to. This at the end of a phrase, though, isn't it? So as you're seeing, ending that phrase, I might just fade it down to silence. So we're fading down the music. And at the same time as the music's going to fade, I want the vision to fade. Now, this is where this same pen tool is going to work. But instead of reducing volume, I'm actually reducing the opacity of the video. And as you can see, it's gone dark. So we've got the video light there. And then when I drag the marker to the end, it's now dark. Halfway through that, you can see it's starting to fade out. Let's just see that effect. If I take it from when the girls finish talking. Great afternoon. Tell me what I feel. 
there's the nice fade out that I was looking for. So there you go.